So Chester here, as well as the rest of the internet, has a theory, or a, there's a myth going around, that apparently if you take a rod or another tool in Animal Crossing New Horizons and you customize it to change its color, then it resets its durability. Now we know if you upgrade it from a flimsy one to a, an upgraded one, then it resets the durability, but what about customizing it? Well, let's find out. I have in my inventory 29 items that I have currently caught with this single fishing rod and also a customization kit. So let's cast our rod against this tree and then think, actually that's a bad idea because we can just shake the tree to get an apple out, not actually use our fishing rod. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's quickly customize it. Doesn't matter what color we go with. Let's, let's go with white. Why not? And we'll find out together if this myth, if this theory is true or not. Let's take our customized fishing rod and in theory, ta-da, if we catch a singular fish, this will break afterwards. If, if the theory is incorrect, of course, that completely depends on my ability to actually catch a fish in the game. It's a <laughs> good enough, I guess. Also, like, I've caught so much trash, re trash recently. Oh! Oh! It, it didn't break it. Uh, uh, okay. Um, perhaps it's true. Perhaps I counted badly. Um, <laughs> perhaps I've only caught 28 things and that was the 29th. Or has it reset the durability? This was this was meant to be a quick like one minute video, but now I'm now I'm confused. D I'm gonna see how many more things I can catch with this single rod. And I'll be right back. So I just caught the 29th fish. Uh, so uh, after customizing this rod, so theoretically. When I catch the next one, the rod should break, even though it's the same rod that I've used for now 59, well, 54, 58 fishes. There's a lot of numbers there. Uh, but this is this, this, the 30th. Oh, you can't see my face, but I'm, I'm actually terrified about this. <laughs> Let's release it and the rod should break. There we go. We did actually reset the durability on the fishing rod by customizing it. But, is it actually worth it? Now, if you ask me, and I don't know too much about anything further on in the game, sort of like even more upgraded um, tools, if you ask me, customizing it to reset its durability isn't worth it because a customization kit costs 600 bells. Now, I can buy a flimsy fishing rod for 400 bells and upgrade it with a single iron nugget and it's technically cheaper. It's a little more effort, but it's cheaper. Um, so really, you're paying 600 bells to refresh the durability of a tool that costs 400 bells and an iron nugget. So is it worth it in my opinion? No. Is it worth doing on some of the later game tools that perhaps are a little more difficult to obtain the materials for? Maybe. But then I don't know how much durability they have, and I also don't know if it's easy to keep track of how many uses it's had. So yeah, in my opinion, it's not worth it to customize a tool to reset its durability. But, are the rumors true? Chester, I can confirm the rumors are true. If you customize a tool, it resets its durability. Chester, what do you think about this? Chester, I see. <laughs> Chester, come back. It's like an interview. Chester, what do you think? You just want a nap, don't you, buddy? Chester, isn't it surprising? Apparently so. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you all next time.